Look, I'm not going to lie, I don't think Hachi is the best chicken defender we've ever had. We have six Maremmas. Um, five of them do an absolutely fabulous job and from a financial perspective save us thousands, tens of thousands of dollars a year in lost chicken revenue by keeping the chickens alive. Um, Archie kind of protects me. Uh, I think we've uh, realised that that might have been a chicken fail. Um, he's definitely a Sarah defender rather than a Chook defender. Yeah, so they've had a couple of examples where Arch has actually stepped up and flagged that we might have some visitors on the property that aren't supposed to be here. Recently we've put a new building up that's a little bit closer to the road and um, middle of the night there's maremmas have quite different barks, well I've noticed, different barks for different purposes, whether it be a fox or quoll or eagle that they're defending or from, the chickens from, or it's a We've got someone arriving down the track and Archie will come and let me know that. But this bark was a very different one. It was much more urgent and needed attention. So we like, came to the kitchen door at about three o'clock in the morning and he grabbed my tracksuit pants and pulled me. Like it felt very much like Lassie or Skippy moment. And um, I took a few steps forward and was like, okay, what's going on? And he ran bolted across the paddock. We jumped in the Hilux and headed over to the new building. And yeah, he was totally right. There were people that were here that shouldn't have been here and um, they skedaddled quick smart. He's done that a few times. I didn't know much about maremmas before we sort of got them, but lots of things you learn pretty quickly. They're the most aloof animal, probably besides a cat, that you could come across. Stubborn, but equally also I find them a lot of fun. Some people have maremmas and they're left in a paddock for months and just fed that might be the only interaction like we spent a lot of time with the maremmas so they're quite affectionate to us we did have an awesome photo of him when he was still a pup he was only sort of three months old and we had a new chicken a uh, new group of chickens that had arrived and this chicken came up to him he was sitting at the base of a tree and captioned the photo head of security meeting head of production so if Archie had a thousand dollars what would he spend it on I can I can guarantee you he wouldn't be spending it on food. Also hates grooming, so he's really not going to spend it on anything to do with anyone touching his hair or fur. Um, I think he'd spend it on a new couch. Oh my gosh, why are dogs important? Uh, I feel like, I mean, I get happy talking about dogs. We, it's, they're just a massive part of what we do here, both from a running a business perspective, but. For me, they're important, just for my, even for my mental health. Like I, I take half an hour of an afternoon, most afternoons, um, to go and spend time with them. And I do that with each of the groups. So the dogs are in either twos or threes, um, protecting uh, chickens. And it's great, I think they enjoy it. I mean, they certainly seem to enjoy it, but I just love being able to spend time with them and that sort of affection that they share, no matter what the situation is, is yeah. Fabulous. He's quite comforting, seriously low maintenance, <laughs> and he doesn't talk back. 